In this video, we're going to be sewing the Magnolia Romper by Samantha Marie Designs with an elastic waist instead of gathering. So the Magnolia pattern has a ton of different options. There is the romper pattern, also the youth pattern, which includes a dress, and I will be making a video on that as well. So I already have all my pattern pieces cut out. I am going to be doing the pants version, long sleeves, and the scooped back. So I have my pants right here, the cuffs for those pants, my neckband, my bodice, which is my scooped back bodice, and then I have my sleeve with cuff, and we're going to add a ruffle. So the first thing we're going to do is open up both of our bodice pieces and we're going to lay these right sides together. Then we're going to pin our clip at our shoulder seams and we're going to sew our shoulder seams closed on both sides. After we have that sewn, now we're going to take our neck band and we're going to fold this right sides together long ways and then fold it in half again and we're going to sew that short end closed. After we sew that short end closed, we're going to go ahead and turn our neck band right side out and then quarter your neck band adding in four pins. After I do that, I'm going to lay those to the side and now I'm going to take both of my pants pieces and I'm going to lay these right sides together and I'm going to clip down the long sides and then my crotch circle as well. Now we're going to go ahead and sew down both sides of our pants and then in this circle curve at our crotch. After you sew this, set it to the side. So now for my ruffles, what we're going to do is a lettuce hem and I'm going to do this on the curved edge of the ruffle. You don't have to do this for your ruffles, I just prefer the way that this looks. I'm only doing a single ruffle on both sides, but I really think that the lettuce hem helps these stand up a little bit better. So after I have both ruffles with my lettuce hem, now it's time to gather them. So I'm going to do the longest setting straight stitch on my sewing machine and just sew down my whole ruffle. Now your ruffle is going to need to be added to your sleeves, so when I'm gathering my ruffle, I want it to be able to fit in this curve between both of my bodices so that it lays nicely in between the sleeve and my bodice. So I'm just going to gently pull on my top thread until this is gathered and fits nicely. If you are doing two ruffles, I highly recommend laying your ruffles on top of each other and gathering them both at the same time. We're going to lay our ruffle right sides facing down and now we're going to take our sleeve and lay that right sides facing down on top of our ruffle and we're going to clip our sleeve on top. Now we're going to serge our sleeve and ruffle onto our bodice. So just be mindful that you do have three layers of fabric here, so you will need to do a lot of adjusting as you're sewing these on. This part can be a little bit tricky, so if it's easier for you to sew on your ruffle first and then add on your sleeve, you can do it that way as well. Now we're going to lay our bodice right sides together and sew down our sleeve and side bodice. For our arm cuffs, we are going to lay these right sides together and we are going to sew down the long edge. After you do that, you're going to fold your band in half and turn it right sides out. Then we're going to turn our bodice inside out so that we can put our cuff inside our sleeve and we're going to sew that on in the round. Now we're going to go ahead and add our neck band and we need to know where to put our neck band on our bodice so what I'm going to do is fold this in half lining up my shoulder seams and I'm going to pin in my middle front and middle back. The other two pins on your neck band will need to go on the sides of your bodice however they're not going to line up with your shoulder seams. So this is how you can determine where those need to go. So I open up my entire bodice like this and stretch my neck band out until it's laying flat up against my bodice and that's how I know where to pin it. After you have your neck band all pinned, now we're going to sew this on. I add tags into my items. So for my tag, I just put this on my back bodice as I'm sewing on my neck band. 
So I'll just lay my tag right on top of the seam of my neck band and then I will sew this all together. Next we're going to add our cuffs to our pants. So we're going to fold these right sides together long ways and then in half again and we're going to sew down this short edge. Now just like with our arm cuffs we're going to turn these right sides out and we're going to put these inside of our pants wrong sides out and we're going to sew these cuffs on in the round. After we have both of our leg cuffs on, now I'm gonna add in my elastic. So I use quarter inch elastic for this. So I'm gonna measure my elastic by laying this across my bodice. And then from that point, I'm gonna measure it again across my bodice. And that is where I'm gonna cut at. After you have your elastic measured and cut, we're gonna overlap the ends of our elastic about a half of an inch. And then I'm going to zigzag stitch this closed. Elastic can sometimes be tricky, so I usually use a little piece of a grocery bag, lay that under my presser foot, and then my elastic on top, and this just helps it move under your presser foot as you're stitching. Then when you're done, all you have to do is pull the plastic bag off. Now I'm going to go ahead and quarter my elastic, and I'm going to put pins in. Now with my romper bottoms turned inside out, I'm gonna pin my elastic quarters to the middle front and back of my pants, and then the last two pins at the side seams. Now for my elastic, I'm gonna straight stitch this on about a quarter inch from the top of my fabric. So I am gonna be stretching my elastic to my next pin so that it lays flat against my fabric and I'm also gonna be stretching from the back as I am stitching. So you just wanna keep doing this all the way around, stretching to each pin so that your elastic is laying flat on your fabric. This is basically gonna give you gathers without having to gather. Now with our pants still inside out, we are gonna put our bodice right sides out down inside our pants, matching up our front and back. And now we're gonna sew both of these bodices together. Now I left a little bit of fabric above my elastic here, so I am gonna cut all of that off as I am sewing these two together. Do not cut into your elastic as you're doing this, just cut off any excess fabric you have above your elastic. You're all finished with your elastic, this is what it should look like. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments below.